So, talking about Westminster, now you're the MP, issues are arising. A lot of people were surprised about the decision down for Colony A down at East Tilbury. Were you surprised? Um, yes, I was, and I'm looking at that. Um, there was an issue about the speed at which the Council and the Development Corporation determined the application. As I understand it, that's why Colonnade went to appeal. And that appeal has been upheld. And so currently the position is they've been given planning permission to proceed. And I'm looking at options of, you know, is there anything that we can do to revisit that decision? But what I don't want to do is give people a false hope. Uh, they've gone through a process. That process has been determined. Uh, the developer has permission to proceed uh, and I'm not clear at the moment what options are open to us but I am looking at it. Is it a mistake to look at it as if, the, as if Eric Pickles has said the council's delaying, the development corporation have, have prevaricated, I'm just going to go in and railroad. Is that, is that accurate or inaccurate? Well I need to look at very closely at the detail but as a summary it's it's accurate as I understand it. I mean, it's not Eric Pickles directly. He's the Secretary of State. It's his name on the letter. He probably doesn't actually get to see them. He has an inspectorate in Bristol who looks at these applications and decides what's fair for both sides. And on this occasion, the inspector has decided that the applicant has a point that this took too long to determine or it wasn't a framework in place which it determined against uh, and so decided to give them the go-ahead. I'm obviously disappointed in that. I can't pretend I'm not. I think it's the wrong thing, in the wrong place, on a Greenfield site. I've been consistent in my objection to uh, Greenfield, Greenbelt development, and it's disappointing that this has happened.